Okay, I'm just going to go through a little video on how to answer this exam question on aerobic and anaerobic respiration. So before I go through how to answer it, I'm just going to show you the exam question. If you haven't had a chance to have a go at it, pause the video at each screen and have a little go at answering it. So I'll just give you a chance to read them. Part B. And part C worth four marks. So pause the screen, have a go at answering the question. And then I'll go through the answers. Okay, so question 1A. It's worth two marks. Um, respiration can happen aerobically or anaerobically. So knowing the difference between aerobic and anaerobic respiration. Remember, aerobic respiration is with oxygen. Anaerobic respiration is without oxygen. Respiration transfers energy from glucose. Draw one line from each type of respiration in human health cells to the correct information. So aerobic respiration, as we said, needs oxygen. So that's this one right here. Anaerobic respiration does not require oxygen. It doesn't uh, produce carbon dioxide. It, sorry, it doesn't use carbon dioxide. It um, Aerobic respiration produces carbon dioxide, so it's not that one. Um, it doesn't produce ethanol. Remember, ethanol is alcohol. We'd be a bit crazy if our bodies produced alcohol. Um, this is what yeast produce during respiration. So anaerobic respiration produces lactic acid, and this is what's responsible for things like um, cramps when you're working really hard in your body. It's a poison. Okay, the table below shows the amount of energy released by aerobic and anaerobic respiration. So for aerobic respiration, we can see it produces 16.1 kilojoules of energy for one gram of glucose, whereas anaerobic respiration produces 1.2 kilojoules of energy for one gram of glucose. So suggest why human cells might respire anaerobically, even though only a small amount of energy is transferred. So we can see that aerobic respiration produces far more than anaerobic. So why would anaerobic be used? Well, anaerobic be used when we're in a position when we're not getting enough oxygen. So that would be something like um, a really extreme exercise. Um, so anaerobic respiration would occur when completing intense exercise when there is not enough oxygen. Okay, and the final question. Yeast is used in the brewing and baking industries. Why is yeast used in these industries? Well, we'll start with the brewing one. So yeast... Um, what why what's it used in brewing is is used to make beer. Why? Because it produces it makes ethanol alcohol in respiration. Okay, in baking industries, let's do that next bit. Yeast is used. Um, what's it used in baking? It's used to make bread, isn't it? And why is it used to make bread? Because it produces carbon dioxide. And that's what is needed to make your bread rise, to get all those uh, nice air bubbles in it, to make it nice and um, fluffy. So yeast is used to make bread because it produces carbon dioxide, which makes the bread rise and that's it